Detective, now you getting out of bed this morning? One of the advantages of single beds. Why? Oh, been here long. About an hour. Have some breakfast? No, not hungry. Tom, did you come to bed last night? About one o'clock. I got talking to a fellow from Finland in the bar. <laughs> Surprised you understood each other. Well, after a few berries, it doesn't matter, does it? So that's why you're not hungry. I had every reason to have a few drinks. So did I, but I didn't. Yeah, and then I couldn't sleep. You gave a very good impression of somebody snoring. At first, I meant. This is she. What are we going to do? I don't know. I need time to think. I'll see you later, love. Yeah, see you, love. If you're near any shops, we need some toilet rolls. Yeah, OK. See you. Another bill. The water rate's £97.28. pence. Oh, my God, we'll never get straight. We've got to. This is terrible. What are we going to do? I don't know. I've got a small job on the savvy, and then I'm going down the job centre. Just keep your fingers crossed. I've got to ask for time off today. Can't be helped. It's Rod's big day. I'll try and swap with one of the others. If you can. But don't worry about it. Compared to that, it's just a drop in the ocean. I'll see you later, love. Yeah, see you. Thanks very much, lad. Thank you. Lot. Drink any more of that? You're going to be in the bathroom all day. Oh, I'll be all right. Fancy coming all this way to get in a state like that? Don't get on at me, will you, she? I felt better than this first thing. You'll never learn, will you? All right, all right. Where do you want to go to first? I thought you said you wanted to go to the Trevi Fountain. Did I? Yeah, three coins in a fountain and all, all that. All right, she, all right. Is it very far? A good walk. Don't tell me you're going to waste the rest of the day. I just need to take me time to come round, that's all. Where are you going now? I've finished my breakfast. I've had the view from this table for over an hour. I think I'd like a change. We're not splitting up again, are we? Yes, if you're determined to stay here. Well, just give me a minute. A minute? Well, half an hour, then. Half an hour? If you think I'm sitting here for another half hour watching you wallow in self-inflicted pain, you've got another thing coming. Well, just sit down, will you? No. There are places I want to go and things I want to see. Well, let me get my circulation going. You're pathetic. I'll give you an hour. I'll be back here for you in one hour, and if you're still like this, I'll spend the rest of the day on my own. And where are you going for an hour? Round and about. Sheila, what are we going to do? I've told you, I need time to think. It's a long way from the start, isn't it? Scrimple and saving for ten days honeymoon in Blackpool. I'll ring our Margaret. See if Claire's all right. OK. We'll ring our Damon. Make sure the house is OK. The house to yourself. A bit of stuff, a bottle of wine. Have you got nothing? A very pleasant evening, thank you. Apart from the cuddy. Lots of stuff in Debbie, eh? Oh, I <laughs> wonder how that happened. Hey, you were doing the cooking. What about tonight? How about a party? Yeah, well, actually, Debbie's coming around to cook me a meal. <laughs> You're getting dead boring, you know. Cooking meals, cosy nights in. Be open to joint account, a building society next. Saving up to get married. Come on, let's have a party. No, 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 no. All right. What are you doing today, then, eh? The ironing? Mm-hmm. No, a lot of thinking. Thinking? Come on, then, what's it all about? Money, or the lack of it. We're getting nowhere fast trying to get straight, and something drastic's got to be done. What, burglary? 
That's all I can think of. Yeah, I'm surprised it's taken you so long to come round to it. It's a pretty big thing to do, you know. It's a piece of cake. Burglary. The best when it's your own house. I want it strictly between just us two. I don't want Doreen to know, and definitely not the kids. No problem. You just let me know the best time, and I'll sort it out. We'll all be out next Monday at Bruges. What, the police training place? Yeah, it's Rod's passing out parade. The perfect alibi. It's the chance of a lifetime. Do you reckon? Billy, think about it. You're stuck over there, right, with God knows how many busies, and you come home and find the house screwed. It's perfect. Doreen will be upset. I should hope she will be at all. She's got to convince the bobbies it's a genuine job, hasn't she? Yeah, yeah. Hey, it might be Rod's first case. Might be his last if anyone finds out. Thanks very much. Hello. Everything all right? Fine. Having a break. I'm uh, just waiting for the anaesthetic to take effect. I wanted a word. What about? It's just the uh, cash was short yesterday. I've asked the others, so don't feel victimised. Um, no, how much? Ten pounds. Hardly the crime of the century. If it was a crime, um, but it is missing. I went through yesterday's transactions myself. I'm sorry, I don't know anything about it. OK, uh, don't worry. I'm sure there's a simple explanation for it. See you later. You paid up, then? One of the few things we have paid. Hey, hang on, hang on. There's a clause here. It says this insurance is invalid if you get your own brother to rob the house. Look, you're going to take this seriously. <laughs> I've got foam now for smacking that teeth yet. Ah, no problem. Hey, and don't you go losing your bottle. Once this is started, it's got to go all the way. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing could go wrong, could it? Oh, Billy, nothing could be simpler. Robbing somebody's house with their cooperation, it's a dream. Can you come through the back? Yeah. I'll have to bust the door, though. The window will be cheap, eh? Yeah, you'll be able to claim for it as well. Anyway, the locks on the windows are too good. A 12-inch nail bar should do it. Hey, try not to damage the frame too much and all. Billy, for God's sake, I'm supposed to be a robber, aren't I? What would the busy servos take care of about not making too much yeah, of a mess, yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah, OK, you're right, Just yes. leave it to the professionals, will you? You won't have anyone else with you, will you? Of course I won't. Hey, in fact, I'm going to make it look as if kids have done it. Now, you just stop worrying about it and enjoy your day out with the wooden tops, eh? Yeah, oh, it's absolutely terrible, son. Terrible. No, 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 thanks for telling me. Hang on. No, me and your mother having the time of our life. No, honest, lad, honest. Yeah. No, I can't. That's the last token I've just put in, son. Yes, of course I'll tell her. See you next week. Ta-da. I've checked the cash and it's right as I leave it, so I hope it sorts itself out soon. The cash, I mean. Uh, I'm sure it will. How are you coping now? Is Billy still out of work? Yeah, but he gets what work he can. We're coping. <coughs> Mr Hammond, could I take next Monday off? It's our rods passing out parade and I'd like to be there. The police college? Yeah, I'll try and swap with one of the others, but if not, I would like to take it off anyway, if that's all right with you. Oh, certainly. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it'll be a memorable occasion. Thanks. Well, I wish him the best of luck afterwards, when he's thrown into the thick of it. <laughs> How's your daughter settling into her new career? Well, she seems much happier now. She's cutting hair instead of just sweeping it off, and I think she's caught, and so she's fine. Good. Well, uh, don't let me keep any longer. 
Uh, and don't worry about the time off. I'm sure we can work something out. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's fantastic. Oh, I'm sorry, Shay. I've been acting like a real ignorant pig. I'm sorry, too. I've been really selfish about wanting to come here, but... I think it's going to be all right in the end. Do you? I love you, Bobby Grant. I love you. <laughs> you were right, you know about me not seeing the wood for the trees or the peace for the tourists. What I was looking for, I brought with me. You. I thought I'd come here and purge myself of all the bad things that had happened to me, the rape and Teresa's death. And you know something? I think that happened the night I walked into the swan and asked them for that job. Maybe we couldn't have done that if you hadn't wanted to come here. <laughs> what you were saying is, look, I'm back under my own terms. That's all gone. It's all in the past. Let's look forward to the future. That's it, Bob. You do understand. That's it, exactly. It's a good time to be here, isn't it? It is Easter, yeah. The resurrection? The resurrection of our marriage. We'll make it work, won't we? Where do you want to go? Anywhere in the world that you want to go. Well, how about taking a little walk? Because there's somebody I'd like to see. And there might just be time. God, I still feel thirsty. I reckon he must have slipped in him when I went to the phone. What? Oh, oh, never mind. So, what are you going to do when you leave school, then? University, I suppose. At least that's what my dad wants. Oh. What to do? Something to do with electronics. Mm, electronics? Yeah, why not? Why not? I always used to bunk off science at school. Did you? Yeah. I built my own radio last year. Honest? From a kit. Mm. Does that mean you can build things, then? What sort of things? Well, it's just that I've got this old shanty that's been bust for years, you know. Really? OK, I'll have a look at it while I'm cooking dinner. Nice one. Harman's staring at me as I take the money and put it in the cash box. Don't really think he suspects you, do you? No, he was as nice as nine months afterwards when I asked him for the time off. Good. I can't think who'd take a tenner out of the cash. As hard up as we are, I wouldn't dream of dipping in, would you? Of course not. Always comes back at you sometime or other. I'd better get a move on or Tracy's bringing that lad in with her today. Oh, yeah. I hope he doesn't hang about. Don't be like that. But what I can gather, he seems all right. He's after settled into the job, at least. I hope they sort out who's taking that money soon. If it was me, I wouldn't be able to sleep. Would you? No. I know it may be 30 years late, love, but at least we've had our marriage blessed now by the Pope, eh? <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Thank you. Did you phone Margaret? I did. Our Claire's enjoying herself. Did you phone Damon? Yeah, no problems. There was one bit of bad news, but it's not to do with us. What was that? You remember that lad I used to go to see, the lad with asbestosis? He's died. Young Martin phoned our house. Oh, lovely, that's sad. It's 
that's terrible. He had a little boy too, didn't he? But it's a funny thing he said to me once. He didn't want his life wasted. What he meant is he wanted us to close that factory down till all that asbestos was shifted. I've got to be honest with you, shit. It really struck home to me, you know. I mean, here I am in one of the most beautiful places on the face of this earth. But the person I most want to be with him. Well, I've been acting like a big daft lad, haven't I? And that poor Don Crawford, he'd have given anything. And just for ten minutes without pain. And there we are. Where would you like to go? It's Trevi Fountain, eh? If we can find it. <laughs> Would you like a drink, Jamie? Oh, yeah. I'd love a beer. Oh, no, I meant your coffee. We've nothing in, have we? Uh, no. Sorry about that. Oh, it's all right, then. Uh, I don't really drink tea and coffee. Like a beer, do you, eh? Yeah. I'm sorry, we've nothing in. We're not stopping long anyway. Oh, was something planned. Just a walk. Do you enjoy driving the van, Jamie? Eh, uh, no. <laughs> At least it's a job, eh? <laughs> yeah, but it has got some perks. Perks? Yeah, you know, knock off gear. You rob the stock? Yeah. Nobody ever knows. Oh, it's just one or two cans of airspray and conditioner. Out of a couple of gross. You never check. That's not really the point, is it? Well, you pay me buttons. Yeah, being an electrician's a good job, isn't it? When you're in colour, it's all right. There's something badly wrong with your telly. Hey, eh? What do you mean? Well, with you having to send it away. I thought you might have fixed it yourself otherwise. Oh, no, I'm a Sparks, not a TV repairman. Uh, can you use your toilet? Uh, yeah, it's um, just. I know where it is. Why didn't you tell us he'd been here before? Why didn't you tell us what he was like? He's all right. When was he here? When you two were in Tunbridge Wells. I hope you're being sensible, Tracy. Well, there's no need to worry about me. You say that as if we got no cause to. Does he know anything about our damaged door? I told you what happened with that. We'll be on before they are. Oh, but it's the thought that counts, isn't it? That's true. Who are you sending them to? Kids, our Margaret. I've always sent one to Teresa. She was have one to Matty. I don't see why not. And send one to the neighbours as well. Oh, I couldn't do that. I think we were showing off. Well, we are. Oh, all right, then. I'll send one to Annabelle Collins. <laughs> She'd be quick enough to load it up over us. I'll say we're having a great time. But don't say wish you were here. <laughs> then, would you like a memento to take home? Yeah, look nice in our living room. Yeah. Well, there might not be anything left of our living room after our Damon's finished with it. I told you to stop worrying about Damon. Stop worrying about everybody. I've been worrying too much about myself lately. I've been very selfish since the attack. You haven't been selfish. You've just acted the way anybody would, I expect. Mm -hmm. There's just one thing I want to say for you. Let me. Carry on with your classes. Do exactly what you need to to feel independent, but share it with us. Don't cut us off and go off on your own. Do you not mind me carrying on with my classes? No, of course I don't. And I'm going to try and fit my job into the family instead of working it the other way round. I get involved in causes too, you know, I should share them with other people, but I don't. But what we have got to do, we've got to talk more. We've come a long way, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Still a long way to go, though. <laughs> but it's much better travelling with somebody. True. Allow me. Thank you. <laughs> Down there and get some flowers, eh? If you want. 
He's been a long time. Do you think he's all right? I hope he isn't vandalising the bathroom. Don't be stupid. He is a bit of a disappointment, Tracy. But you kept on at me to bring him round. Do you think you'd better go up and see if he's all right? He looked old enough to go to the toilet on his own. What's that? It's Jamie. You all right? You took your time. That for something. You are? Your backside's numb. What's going on in there? No, there's no bog room. Sitting here for nearly 20 minutes trying to get through to you. Hang on, will ya? <laughs> I didn't go to the shops, did I? Thinking of my newspaper. <laughs> Here we are. And not a trace of curry anywhere. Mm. Oh, great. I'll sort the rest out. OK. Fancy some of this? Nice one. Mmm. Simple, only loose connection. You're not just a pretty face, are you? I hope not. Oh, who's that? There's only one way to find out. <sighs> hey, hope you don't mind. I've just come round to see how the cooking's getting on. Maybe make up for yesterday, like. Oh, I've not come empty-handed. Oh, yeah. There's just one slight complication, though. What's that? All right, gang, let's go! Party, party! <laughs> Oh, 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 yeah. oh, Beautiful. Oh, Bob, the Trevi Fountain. Wow. Come on. <laughs> I'm sure that's bigger than the fountain in Stanley Park, that one. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Hey, give us some coins, Bob. I want to make a wish. Hurry up. Yeah. You know how to do it, don't you? Yeah. Stand with your back, catch it back to it. Eyes closed. Okay. Are you doing it? Whee! You know what that means, don't you? What? That means we'll come back to Rome again someday. I'd like that. So would I. She, there's something I want to tell you, babe. What? I love you. No, I didn't mean that. What? <laughs> what? Ti Aramo. That's Italian, and it means I love you. But I love you in every language under the sun. Even in 15 minutes. The parade should end about one o'clock. We'll be back early afternoon. Yeah, it's all right. I'll make sure we stop for something to eat on the way back. Don't worry. Ty. What? You should be doing this. But I'm on the phone. It doesn't match you two. It's to do with work. I can't find 
tried it anyway. I've told you once, it isn't working. What isn't working? Tracy's camera. What she said. It won't wind on. She's done it in somehow. Hang on, will you? Don't go away. Stop looting around. She's messed up all the drawers upstairs. It looks like they've been burgled. Don't you want a photo of Rod's big day? Hey, jack it in, you two. I'm trying to sort some work out here. Paul Collins, he's got a video camera. They've gone away. They're in the lakes or somewhere. And just see him lending that. This one's best. Mum, do you want the loo before we go? Don't be long. What's wrong with him? Job on him. Jimmy, sorry about that. Now make your deadline to be off the close. One thirty at the latest. Oh, it's just the Collinses have gone away, and Julie's got this thing about borrowing a camera. Yeah, Doe's got me dressed up like one of Burton's. Yeah, but not all the busies will be at Bruce, so you just watch it, eh? Now, you go careful. Yeah, I'll be thinking of you too, kid. Eh? How many funerals is it we've been to in the last six months? Well, this'll be the third. They all merge together, don't they? You know, I was thinking of the last time we saw Joe, driving his little trainer fest in the hog. He seemed so happy and well. Makes no difference at our age. You know what I heard the other night? Another one gone, Walter Bailey. Still, should get plenty more word out of this cut the way our friends are dropping like flies. Oh, look on the bright side, will you, Harry? We've got years of active life ahead of us yet. Us? Active life? It's waiting round the corner. We're the wrong end of the queue, son. That's it. What excuse can we think of not to begin? Mm. Oh, no, we didn't pick up the undercoat. We're bound to run out. I'll go now, then. Oh, no, you don't. We'll start this together, thank you. I'll go for it later. Well, there's three big tins to lug. Is it worth it? I'll go at lunchtime. Is it, though? Is what? Doing the whole house by ourselves. I mean, maybe Dad or... Yeah, we said no. You know what your Dad's like about his DIY. Once he gets his nose in here, he'd take over. You're quite enjoying this, aren't you? What's that, the stiff neck or the backache? Snatching a day off work to be here. <laughs> I have to keep pinching myself. It's really ours. I feel like I'm behind a one-way mirror. I mean, I can spy out and see people on the close, but nobody sees us in here. We're secret. We've got a foot on the ladder. Just think of it in six months' time, eh? Tables, chairs. Six months after that, who knows? There could be silver on the table. Mm. in uniform. Even Daddy Combs look nice. He's the one who had a chest like an ox and underneath these weedy bits of legs. She sure is, love. I don't know what she'll be getting on to next. Have you ever talk about anything else? What do you mean? Your fellas from the year dot. Well, it makes me think of the war time. All those lovely lads marching to war. Ever since we left home, knock, 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 can't you try and relax? It's been a call, Kilreeny, waiting for the knock on the door known as the copper. That's why it can't settle in.
Evil can evil Collins. And where's your mum and dad then? Why not? <laughs> Permission to march past, sir, please. Permission granted. Carry on, sir. Thank you, sir. Gentlemen, you have come off that square with pride. You have integrity. Now go outside and have guts to do the job for which you're being paid for. On the command, dismiss, ladies and gentlemen. Turn to your left. Pride! Listen, lad, you might start off with all these big ideals, but wait till life gets a grip here, see what happens to you then, eh? Really? Just remember, I was like you once. My head was held high, too, you know. We'll get on our feet again. This is the first day of the whole new start. The first day everything goes right. Yeah, oh. come on, let's have a picture. Yeah. <laughs> Slide. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Excuse me. 
I was wondering whether you wanted to handle your painting. No, thanks, mate. We're all right. Well, professional, I mean, you know, paid. You're a painter? Well, yeah, I've done a year's training, you know. Dead cheap rates, like, laughable. I'm a fool to offer, really. <laughs> Perhaps I'd be a fool to accept, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, John. That's a bit unkind. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't know anything about you. I think he's a neighbour. Didn't I see you with a football earlier? Yeah, that's right, yeah. I'm from across the way. Uh, Damon. Damon Grant. Well, I'm Laura. This is Jonathan. Hi, we're uh, planning to do the house ourselves, I'm afraid. Oh, well, sorry. Oh, no, come in anyway. Have a cup of coffee. Well, uh, I'll me. <laughs> Have a look around and tell us how we're doing. We're just amateurs, of course. She was heading that way. Let's go and find out. Can't it wait? Well, I thought we might ask them around. Oh, I'd like to get Mother in first. Hi, yeah. Where were you? Making tea. Oh, what's that? Mobility's all the thing these days. I've had a row with more. Hello. Uh, I'm Paul Collins from number eight. I wondered if you were organized yet. Would you? Like a hot drink, for instance? Oh, no, our cook is connected to her. But I'm Laura Wright, and this is Joanne, my sister. She's just visiting, actually. Moved in, have you? No, not yet. We're decorating first. That's Jonathan, my fiancé and me. Can I come in, then? Yeah, John's upstairs. We've uh, taken time off work to make a start. Oh, may I ask what you do? Yeah, we're in the law business. Oh, that's interesting. My wife, Anna, has just become a JP. Oh. Oh, the keys. Oh. Oh, excuse me. That's all right. I'll come over later for a cup of tea. Uh, you and... Uh... Jonathan. Both of you, over there. We'd be delighted. Thank you. Tomorrow would be time enough. I want to get Mother in the house. It pays to be hospitable. It's a small close. First impressions matter. Thank God that awful banner's down then. Oh, I might get to hear about it. Hey, listen, you want to be careful, the fellas with beards, the one you have to stop. Oh, what do you mean, the fellow with the yard? I shouldn't be there. <laughs> I could see you. Did you see your eye in the It's terrible. Very tragic. 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 Very don't believe it! Look, Joe, you're always having rows with Mum. You don't always leave home. I've had nowhere to go before. You've got nowhere to go now. Oh, don't be tight. You're paying the mortgage every week and it's stood empty. Furniture? I don't need any. I've brought me bed. I'm on the house for you. Maybe you want pine as well, Jonathan. Well, look, it's not straight yet. Paint fumes can get on your chest. I'll hear it. Oh, yeah. And shut the window afterwards when you go out. You're less likely to get robbed if I'm living here. Well, what are they supposed to steal? The newspapers off the floor? Look, you can't simply turn up and expect me to get you out of trouble. I'm not in trouble. I thought you had a bust up with your mum. Something must have sparked it off. It's not one thing. It's just me. It's always been like that. Laura can't do nothing wrong. I have to apologise for breathing. My mum thinks I'm a waste of space. Look, give us a minute to talk about it, will you? Excuse us. Uh, it's all right. Don't mind me. Sorry about this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I'm oh, well, I reckon she'll swing it. I've lived with her once before in London. I picked her myself for just five months, imagine. London? Nice one. Nah, horrible. Lonely and dead boring. Mm. What was she doing down there? She's at Law College. A solicitor. She's clever. And I use two, but he's qualified now. I forgot to ask you, still on your black tea cake. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. <laughs> Tea or coffee's all we've got. If you want to stay here, you'll have to fend for yourself. What a time to invite new neighbours round. I mean, what on earth are they going to think? Half my best china's broken, the blender's broken, oh, and Mrs... For goodness sake, it isn't our fault we've been burgled. Unless, of course, what well, you don't think Pat and Terry would... 
Oh, Paul, Pat and Terry may have called you a spy, but I don't think... A spy? Think... Oh, a DHSS spy, Mother. Nothing for you to worry about. But I don't think they'd stoop to this, not vandalism. Oh, you're probably right. More likely a gang of kids. Oh, will you phone the police? On the other hand, there's whiskey gone. Would kids go for that? Will you stop playing detective and ring? All right, all right. I just want to check around again upstairs first. But why is he ringing the police? I'm told to go to college today. Why couldn't he have sagged off like other days? Paul, will you remember my position? I'm a JP. Paul, it won't look good if we delay. But why is he ringing the police? Mother, we have been burgled. We have to report it. Look, why don't you make a cup of tea? It'll do you good to give you something to do. And I have to make a list of what's been taken. But it's electric. Yes, dear, everything's electric. But I'm used to gas. All you have to do is plug in and switch on. When Paul comes down, I'll show you to your room. Well, actually, I would like to write a letter. Now? Yes, you just said you wanted to make a list. I don't see why I shouldn't write a letter. No, of course not, if that's what you want to do. I knew it. The one thing I mind about, the one thing I really call mine. What? Oh, the video camera, of course. Well, my blender's quite new, too. I'm sure we can live without a few lumps for a while. But that camera meant something to me. Why is he so excited? What does he photograph? The world about us, Mother. I keep a record of events. It's a sort of hobby. Oh. You'll soon find out in this house, Anna has the work, I have the hobbies. Oh. You never liked that camera, did you? Well, you'll be happy now it's gone. I'm phoning the police. Yeah, Tenbrook side close. You send somebody round then? Thanks. It's only a posse figure, though. We'll cover that dead easy on the insurance. I mean, how can he be fretting over that when the old house is Mine, like this? and it's stood on that windowsill ever since we've been here. Oh, get another one. And a microwave, it's no big the deal, is it? The one on the estate and it has to go and happen here. As soon as the busies are gone, I'll get to work. At least a Mandy, aren't I? I think it's someone got it in for our rod, someone who can't bear his success. It's nothing personal like that. It's what? Somebody's been here, Billy. They've spread filth everywhere and you say it's... Like, it's just like a dog going through someone's fence. But it's my home. Oh, come on now, love. I've rang them, Billy. They'll send a bobby round as soon as they can. I didn't dare tell them where we'd been to wet themselves with laughing. Yeah. I've looked at the car, but it's mostly flour and jam. I'll have a go clean it later. Well, it isn't too bad upstairs, you know. There's mud on the landing carpet, loads of it. Look, I'm going to go across to Harry and Ralph and tell them what's gone and happened. It'll give you a chance to. Well, come on. I should have checked, you know. I mean, it's only a few doors away. No need to. I saw Vicky go in there earlier on. Didn't a bit of breaking, she'd have told us. Not a shave, though. Yeah, think? You could have had two houses robbed. What a burden for a man like me. I've got to worry about this place. And now I've got to be fretting about theirs. Two young men in the prime, it's them that should be worrying about me. How'd you make that out? Because I'm on the last running. The last furlong, so to speak. Oh, don't start all that morbid talk. I had enough of that this morning. Well, I won't see 60 again, but that makes me think, right, I've only got a bit to go, so I'm going to pack in as much as I can. Live, love and be merry. Isn't it eat, drink and be merry? What's wrong with love? Look, you do what you like, love. But look what happened to him. No, she may have a point, Harry. I mean, think of Joe Pritchard. He worked in Festiniog, but he always dreamed of travelling the Indian railways. Can't think why. All that eat. No, but the point is, that's what he wanted. I mean, maybe he could have gone, but he kept putting it off, and now it's too late. I've always wanted to go round the world on a boat. A round-the-world cruise? Now, that would be something. Oh, give over. It's a cost an arm and a leg. That's for the idle rich, not for the likes of us. Look, if you don't need that other house, why don't you sell it? And use the money to go on a boat. Or anything. I mean, what have we got to keep us here? And why have all your money tied up in a house when some no mass can get inside and wreck it just like that? Hang on. So what advice are you two giving? Get shut of all my assets and just go off gallivanting. On a boat? It doesn't have to be a boat. Look, all I'm saying is, use your money to give yourself a good time. Enjoy life while you've still got the puff. Cos tomorrow you could snuff it. Typical. She said she'd be in by seven o'clock. Oh, it doesn't matter what time she gets in, really. She's got a key. Can she be trusted to come home alone? Oh, come on, Jonathan, be fair. We did agree she could stay tonight and we'll think again tomorrow. Well, you know where I stand, don't you? Don't look cross. It's our house. We ought to move in first. But she's not really moving in, not properly. 
more sort of camping out. We should go upstairs. Not and have her walk in on us? Oh, we'd hear her, wouldn't we? And even she wouldn't buy straight in. Well, she might have that lad in tow. All right, let's go home then. I'll try and have a word with Mum before she goes to bed. Stay at my place. No, not tonight. I ought to let Mum know she's safe. Oh, love, I promise you won't spoil anything. She still feels a bit sick. She's lying down. Tell her I'm coming up in a minute. I'll stay tonight if Ardor's not coming back. I'll give you a lift in a bit, OK? You shouldn't leave her, Billy. Well, oh, maybe look, Bartry... go and tell her I'll be up in a minute. All right? It's Billy here. Is Jimmy there? You tell him I want to see him, will you? Yeah, that's right, and it's serious. And you tell him from me, will you? Tell him that when I see him, he better watch himself, all right? They moved in yet next door? Not that I know of. God, there's bits of glass all over the floor. Mind your feet. Where's my shoes? Someone in there playing that racket out three she's always got on. They're probably decorating again. Look, Harris. It's all right, love. We'll soon get it sorted out. We'll never get it the same again, though, will we? Better. Honest, I promise you. It won't. It'll never be right again. Oh, come on, love. It's not all that bad. Look, I'll tell you what, we'll make ours a list for the insurance later, eh? Hey, look, I made you a cup of tea there. What's happened to the teapot? Smashed. Oh, yeah. Do you want some toast? No toast. I can't eat anything. Anyway, I want to get the 25, too. Uh, look, love, listen, I'm sorry, but I've got to go out. No. Well, can you ring Mr Alman and tell him you won't be in this morning? The CID are coming this morning, Billy. They said last night. Right, so ring him and tell him you've got to wait in for the CID. Why can't you wait in? Well, I've got a job on, haven't I? What job? Well, it's an emergency, you know, a foreigner, like. I can't. I promised Mr Hammond I'd be in this morning. I swapped shifts, especially for yesterday. I can't let him down again. It's an emergency, though. I can't let them down. They just rang. I didn't hear the phone. Well, you wouldn't do, would you? Not with that racket next door. Anyway, you were in the bathroom. Look, tell him you've got to wait in for the busy this morning, but you're being as normal as savvy. You can't say nothing about that, can he? Look, dog, one of us has got to stay in, haven't we? We want to get moving on that insurance claim, don't we? Sit 
has had a dreadful night. We all had a dreadful night. Well, you didn't. I wasn't in and out of bed all night like you, but I was certainly awake. I could hardly help it, could I? I just don't know where to start today. A mess. She's still in bed, is she? Well, she might as well sleep while she can. Her cough seems to have eased a bit. I'll take her up something later. Keep her in bed all morning. Give it a chance to clear up a bit. CID man's supposed to be coming around sometime today. They didn't say when, did they? I can't honestly remember. It's all been too much. You need a list of everything that's missing. Gordon's already made one. Mm, that's efficient of him. There. Put down all your jewellery. Everything that's missing. My Victorian brooch is missing, the one with the seed pearls. Well, the one your grandmother left you. I don't really care about anything else. Oh, except, of course, the things that you gave me. Stereo, electric razor. One portable TV? What portable TV? He hasn't got a portable TV, has he? I've not seen one. Where is he? College. <sighs> Electric drill. Suede jacket, 200 pounds. Suede jacket? You ought to take a writing fiction. There's one here. Go on, then. Three bedrooms, semi-detached. Set in quiet residential development. How much? Oh, just a minute. Be nice to visit Samarkand, wouldn't it? Where's Samarkand? I don't know. But I'd really like to go there. It sounds full of Eastern promise. You don't want to mess about with things like that. Not abroad, anyway. How much are they selling it for, then? 26,950. Get more than that for next door, wouldn't you? Could flame and well hope so, particularly with you wanting to swan off to summer, whatever that is. <laughs> Isn't it? You start off helpless and you end up helpless. And there's some stay helpless in between. 220 degrees. And about mother, eh? I didn't realise her mother was still living. It's a terrible thing, that. If I ever stop losing me marbles, Harry, I want to be put out of my misery right away. The thing about that, you see, is you've got to keep your brain working. That's what I've been saying, isn't it? That's what I've always done. Use me brain. Do you know my old dad? His brain was razor sharp till the last five minutes. He had a whale of a time till the bronchitis got him. My point exactly. No sense waiting around till the coffin lid slams shut. Harry, the pie. There was this Japanese fella. I'll give you the for instance. This Japanese fella, 90 yard, and he climbed Everest. So what happened to him? He fell down one of those crevices and broke his neck. But I don't want to climb Mount Everest. I'm not saying you... Look, I'm not saying you do. But that's the way to go, isn't it? Living life right up to the last minute. I don't know why you can't see that. 
You know, I'm sorry to say this to you, Ralph, but you're getting set in your ways. Not me. I've decided. I've made my mind up. I'm going to realise my assets before it's too late. You what? I'm going to sell. Harry! Proper valuation, that's what I want. I'm going to get one of these estate agent fellas in and they can put a for sale sign next door as soon as they want. No. Oh, go on, get some. I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything for hours. I'll faint. I thought she was supposed to have gone. God knows what she's got in her head. I'll go and sort her out. What are you doing up here? Those are my clothes. I was just trying them on. I don't remember you asking. Oh, I didn't think you'd mind. Well, as a matter of fact, I do mind quite a lot. Take them off. Isn't it scarf, Grace? Don't you think it suits me? It looks better on me than it does on you. No, Joanne, you can't have it. Oh, go on, you've got loads of nice things. Now, look, before John comes in, I want a word with you. Is it fish and chips? Will you listen? I am listening. Now, look, I had a word with Mum this morning. She says she really wants you to go home. She says she and Dad will forget all about it, so long as you apologise properly and as long as you really try to make an effort. Make an effort to do what? Honestly, I can't stick it. I can't stick my dad in a shredded wheat and all a little bit sticking out of his mouth. And I'm swigging his tea through his teeth. He doesn't. And I can't stick blankety blank and all them boring programmes. And them going on and on all the time. Why can't you do this? Why can't you do that? Why can't you be like Laura? Well, why can't you? You've got the brains. Because I don't want to be like you, do I? I want to be like me. Well, OK, but that's something you've got to work out for yourself. You can't stay here and do it. I don't think there's anyone in. Yeah, right, um, just checking. Can we give him a message or something for you? <laughs> no, it's all right, mate. Uh, I live here. <laughs> oh, you live here? I thought... Uh, I think my mum is like... Nice to meet you, anyway. Yeah. Hope you get settled in OK. Right. She broke her bloody ass! Yeah, you said her drilled, yeah? Smashing her things up, that listen, wasn't a plan, listen. was it? Listen, The pissies aren't stupid, are they? Hey, they're gonna put two and two together, aren't they? Billy Corkle skins, Jimmy Corkle police record. Yeah, but you didn't have to yeah, do this, yeah, did you? Yeah, right, it's all right. So what's the conclusion, eh? Hey, flaming obvious, isn't it? Insurance swindle. You want to go down for six months? No, and neither do I. This is our house, we're crying out loud. It's Doe's home, isn't That's it? That's right, yeah. Your house. So it's never going to enter the heads that you've had anything to do with it, is it, eh? Listen, you've got to make it look realistic. Not this realistic, you don't. Oh, I, yeah. And talking realistic, there's a few bits and pieces up in the loft. I want to get shot of them this afternoon. What bits and pieces? Oh, my God, Billy, it was a stroke of genius. I'm telling you, honestly. God. What bits and Crazy. pieces? All of a sudden, like, an, um... Oh, God, what's that word for it? A revelation, that was it. Yeah, and I thought to myself, well, why not? It's brilliant, eh? And the first thing I saw was this video sitting there in the oh, lounge. No. It was brand new, eh? And a video camera. Couldn't believe me luck, eh? Next door, but one. Down there, that way. Have you ever been in there, Billy? They have got some right classy stuff in their house. I'm telling you, that was the God. No, you didn't. You couldn't have. Are you joking, aren't you? Dorian, I wondered if I'd have a brief word when you finished. Yes, of course, Mr. Harmon.
Thanks very much. See you in six months. Bye. I'm ever so sorry. I really am. I'm glad to see you finally managed to make it in. I'd have done However, anything I... not to let you down again. I'll make the time up. I promise I will. Only what happened was I had to stay in because... Billy, I'm sorry. Oh, no, look, look, please. You took everything, all my honour and everything, but the mess. I'll never get it clean again. I'll have to scrub it and scrub it. I'm going to have to disinfect it from top to bottom. I waited in this morning for the blitz. They never came. They never even came. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll do it. I'll take it all back. There you are, Mr. Collins. Ever so sorry. There's all the stuff I nicked from your house yesterday. Great. I'm not having knock-off stuff in my loft, all right? That's right, you're not. Because I'm taking it with me, aren't I? You fence just one of those things you pinched off Paul Collins and I'll tell all you what right, I'll do. All right, all right, all right. Don't burst your bladder. I'll take care of it. Bloody flame and waste, though. It was a good video, that. Hey, you've got to admit it, though, Billy. It was a stroke of genius, wasn't it? What do you think? I'll tell you what I think. I think it stinks. Ah, come on. I've done you a favour, haven't I? Honest. Well, what about that list, then? What are we going to claim for? Better? I really am sorry. I didn't mean to do that. And all I wanted to do was apologise to you. To me? About the missing money. That's another thing. I, I need a hanky. Yeah. Sorry about the money. It's nothing to do with you. It's entirely my fault. I borrowed it out of petty cash. One of the kids turned up, you know, see if we can touch the old man for a tenner. I think it went completely out of my head. I did write myself an IOU, but uh, I forgot to put it in the cash box. It's here. It just turned up in my pocket. Good God, do you realize how much premium we pay each year? I must be keeping that company floated single-handed. What do I get out of it? Damn all. Oh, we had a claim a few years back. One claim every 40-odd years. More than one. Now, be honest. <sighs> all right, two, then. Drop in the ocean. I know people who make a substantial claim for something every other year. I think Gordon was right. I think we ought to claim for a portable TV as well. You can't do that. Oh, rubbish. I paid for it over and over. One... Portable TV. One video camera. Tell the truth, you know. I'm not altogether sorry that's gone. I've really got the hang of it anyway. One home computer. One what? All adds up, Anna. It all adds up. Uh, that's uh, 300 quid for the carpets and say, um, how much do you reckon for redecoration? 200? 250? 250. Yeah, what does that bring us up to? Uh, 2,400. All right, that'll do. Yeah, let's have another look at that contents. Hey, have you got a portable telly down there? Uh, yeah. Oh, what else? A hey, stereo? Uh, got it. Oh, I know, I know. One of them home computer things. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to smash all the ornaments up, though, did you? If you go now, you'll be back in time for tea. Why can't you give me a lift? Because when we finished here, we're going out. I could have your spare room as a bed sit, like in London. I was no trouble then. I'd pay rent and I'd be dead useful. Out. Out. OK, OK. There's no need to shout. I know what I'm not wanted. Right, that's the wonky light fitting down. Are you all right? Yeah, she's gone. Good. Oh, it's not her fault. She really does find it very difficult living at home. Yeah, I'm not altogether surprised. What's that supposed to mean? Come on, don't be so prickly. It's just that I find them a bit heavy going sometimes as well. You know I do. It's all that family solidarity. So, empty house. Empty house? I'm fed up with decorating. To the back teeth. There's a bedroll over there. There's a duvet upstairs. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Come on. You got a fan? Yeah. Oh, shit. Watch it, will you? Come on, get a move on. Don't be back in a bit, you know. Hey, good thinking there. 
That's what he called psychologically sound, letting her stay in for the busies. Read that girl like a book. Oh, come on, is that it? Yeah. Put that stuff back up. It's probably no one. Dorian forgot the key. Hey, have a butcher's through the window. Jesus, it's the busies! You yeah, what? Oh, my God, I thought you said they'd been. But I thought they had. Go ahead, open it up, hey, and act natural. Yeah, but... What are we moving now? Tonight? We can't. Why, because of the wedding? I want to do it properly for them, John. I've never seen my mum so excited about anything. Embossed invitations. With hideous silver bells and necking pigeons. They're not hideous silver bells. They're quite tasteful. Anyway, they're all ordered now. And Dad's put the Cheltenham suite for the reception. Ugh. Oh, it's all right. It's OK. Remember Simon Matthews? Mm. Rugby club, big teeth, father's a QC. Oh, yeah. Apparently, when he got married, they had a reception in a marquee on a lawn. I don't think there's room for a marquee on Mum and Dad's lawn. So what have I got to do? Buy presents for all the bridesmaids. Who are we having? Well, Joanne, obviously, and Kerry. I've got to have both sisters. I suppose Joanne will want to wear something bizarre. What happened about a key, by the way? What key? Oh, no, she's still oh, got it. Great. You out of here before she gets what back. Are you want to the boat, the day, yes? How did it go? Pardon? How does it all go? At Rod's passing out parade. Oh, that. It's funny, it seems years ago now. No, it went very well. It was very moving, thanks. Nice young couple. Yeah, they seem to be. Solicitors, apparently. Oh. You've heard about our break in, of course. Your break in? Oh. What a welcome home that was. The video, my kitchen equipment, broken glass everywhere, and paint on the walls. It's an ours over and all. Red spray paint, the carpet's ruined. Yesterday? Yeah. Same lot, obviously. Honest, Oliver, I've been feeling sick all day. You can move on, will ya? Well, I would, wouldn't I, about an ant? Go! Hey, Billy. I got a few bob for this. Classy stuff, you know. Jesus, here! Go! 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 That's it, we've had it. Hiya. Can I help you? I'm Joanne Wright, Laura's sister. Laura is moving in next door. I'm looking after the place for her, so if you need anyone in there. Go! Go! Oh, you've got to go. Come out. Any minute. Just go, will you? Yeah. Hiya, love. All right. On your own? Yeah. Could have had a splitting headache all day. I feel awful. <laughs> Mr. Alman, all right with you, was he? Yeah. I made a right show of myself, didn't I, in front of him? I can't seem to stop myself crying. Look, asses. Go and have a lie down. Go on, I'll bring you a cup of tea up. The police have been. Yeah. So you ended up having to cope with it on your own anyway. There was never any phone call this morning, was there? It's all right, I know how you feel about them. Did they take fingerprints? Couldn't find any. No idea who done it. Kids off the estate. Kids? They had a good day then. They'd done the Collins house over as well. Billy? Yeah. Did the police tell you? Yeah, that's right, yeah. I really thought things were going to start going good for us now. With Rod. It won't fit. It'll glue together. It won't. Then we'll claim for it. Go on upstairs, go on. They might put Rod on it. You know, an inside job. What? Rod's his first case. What are you talking about, Rod? He's not CID yet. Don't talk stupid, though. Don't talk stupid! God, I'm, I'm 
sorry, love. I'm sorry. I'm just feeling a bit, you know... Go on. Go on and lie down now. I won't sleep. I'm sorry. Sorry. I was just dreaming about that last meal. Prosciutto. Tagliatelle. <laughs> what was that word they had for the mushrooms? Fungus. <laughs> <laughs> Fungi. <laughs> That's saucy. I think I could cook something like that. Mm -mm. That's for Italy, isn't it? That's for the Olives. This is home, love. Yeah. Bob, I feel so good. I feel... I feel cleansed, that's the word. It sounds soft, doesn't it? No, not to me it doesn't. Do you remember after the rape how I washed and washed myself? And no matter how much I washed myself, I still couldn't feel clean. Not really clean, not clean inside. And no. We had a good time, though, didn't we? Yeah. Do you know what I feel like doing? Hmm? <laughs> oh, I see that! <laughs> oh, well, these looking a bit grimy as well. I want everything clean and new. Right behind you, girl. Got some sheet. Mm -hmm. On the sheet. Sheila, I'm kids. wanting a little lie-in, love. Oh. You know, the morning off, a little lie-in. Mm. Sheila! Yeah, 2.30, yeah, that's OK, no problem. What is it? 22 Chroma Buildings. Connor Street, that, isn't it? Yeah, OK, see you then, sit down. You all right, love? Yeah. Hey, got a good bit of news. Picking a shower to Savvy. <laughs> Connor Street. Should clear 20 quid, you know. You going out? Yeah. A couple of hours will do it, that's all. I don't want to be left on my own in the house. Nah, he won't come back. He never do. Why not? I've got statistics on it. We did all this at Bruce. Listen, if they're going once, they can get in again. And it could be someone we know. <laughs> it could. And don't say anything. I need one. I don't think I've more than about two hours last night. Go back to bed, eh, love? 60% of all burglaries are committed by miners. Miners? that got anything to do with the strikes? Not coal miners. Dickhead miners under 18. I need the toilet. What about your Jamie? What about him? Where was he? Pardon? 
Oh, come on now, Doreen. He could have. No, he couldn't. Are you accusing him or what? Don't you raise your voice to me, young lady. Well, tell her, Dad, tell her. He'd never do nothing like that. Nicking the old thing from where here. Yeah. Everyone does. No, they don't. Hello? Yeah, that's right. I bet you was about Barry Grant and all. Oh, you're accusing Barry Grant now? That's enough. Just hang on, please. There'll be Pat Hancock, then Terry. Oh, and that Harry Cross. Mr. Ann. Oh, I'm off. I'm not accusing anybody, Tracy. Honest, I'm just trying to think it out. If I knew it was, if I knew for definite, then I might be able to sleep. It's Mr. Alman, love. I can't speak to him, not the moment. I'm sorry, but she's upstairs washing her hair at the moment. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, she's still a bit, you know, off colour, like... Yeah, OK, I'll ask her. Yeah, then ring you back. OK, fine. Ta-ra now. Is he angry? No, he was dead nice, dead worried about you. Said you can do a couple of hours, the savvy. I can't, honest, not yet. Oh, come on, love. Take your mind off things. I'll run you in, door to door. Then I'll come back and get you when I've done the shower. Then we can go around the shops together and choose some new wallpaper, eh? We can't afford new wallpaper. Of course we can. As soon as we get the cheque off the insurance, we can afford whatever wallpaper you want, whatever you want, though. Anything. That fella that used to hang around here, that winter cleaner, what was his name? Oh, come on now, love. You can't go around accusing people. It was kids off the estate. The police said. I'm so tired, Billy. More bubbles. Do you want your tea, Sue, now? In a minute, love. There you are. More bubbles? You sure? Yeah. Don't look all over those things, love. Well, why, kid? They've all got to be washed, haven't they? Then. Hey, hey, do you know what I heard? Something dead funny. What am I doing waiting on you, soft lad? You know the Cork Hills being, Libby? Yes. Do you know what it happened? No. Do you know where they were? No. Lots passing out parade. <laughs> What's funny about that? Yeah, well, uh, dead. Ironic, then. <laughs> hey, get your feet off there. It's filthy enough already. You know what I was thinking, Shay? What? We should keep all this lot, you know. Put them in a scrapbook or something. <laughs> Here's the pin show there, lad. Me and your mum used to have a little drink by there of a night. Oh, yeah? Uh, when did you give Father give him a ring and ask him to come round? I think I should. I don't see why not. Right. He'd be interested in the pin show and that. I'm interested. No, what I'm saying is we should give him a ring and invite him round for his tea on bank holiday. Then I can say me thank yous properly. Mm -hmm. We can say thank you, Father Given, for putting such a cock-eyed idea into me wife's head. All right, then. I will. I was doing French for a solid hour upstairs, Mum. Looked to me as though you were asleep. Eggs, do we need eggs? Je fou, tu fou, il fou. Well, you looked as though you were asleep when I came in. No, Mum, that was very deep thinking. No, I am working, honestly, I am. It's frightening how hard I'm working. Bloody frightens me. Look, watch your language in front of Grandma. I'll be about half an hour, all right? OK. Oh, Mother, come on. I'm just going down to the shops. Uh, Gordon will be here if you want anything. And eat your cake, Mother. I wasn't very hungry. Besides, I didn't want to spoil my lunch. I never eat mid-morning. Now, what can I do to help? Can I peel some vegetables? Mother, you know very well that we never have a large cooked meal at lunchtime. Well, I'm sorry to criticise your arrangements, dear, but I do prefer a cooked lunch in the middle of the day. Well, we're very busy. Well, if you're all too busy, perhaps I can cook something for myself. No, I didn't mean no, that. No, I cannot go to bed on a full stomach. It gives me dreadful indigestion. You know I've always had a cooked meal at one o'clock, Annabelle, all my life. I really don't think it's fair of you to expect me to change now. Gordon, dear, could you fetch me down a saucepan from there and clear that muddle away? Uh, Mother, I'll do no, it. No, 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 no. No, no. let me, Mother. I'm perfectly capable. Oh, Mother! It's electric. Oh, gracious, Annabelle, what is the matter with you? Better keep it away. You know, that cake smelt very odd. Funny, bitter smell, like almonds. Nobody tampered with it, had they? Yeah, it makes you think, you know, she doesn't it? After seeing all that intricate detail. Once done, Mason's whole life work on that archway. Mm. But that's his immortality, if you know what I mean. Generation after generation of people coming to see us. It'd be nice to leave something worthwhile after you were gone, wouldn't it? There's our Damon out there. <laughs> 
You're saying your work's not worthwhile, then? Of course not. Come on, now, you know what I mean. Yeah. Listen, I've been thinking. Hmm? I'd like to do something. Don't you think you've had enough on your plate? You've got the course, you've got the pub. Oh, I'm giving up the pub. Now, look, she. No, honestly, listen, that was just to get money for Rome. That's finished. I'd like to do something, I don't know, like you do. Because I don't do enough. I'd like to do something for the church, maybe, or refugees, unemployment, world peace. I don't know. Just something. World peace, you? I don't know if you're up to that or not yet, love. Don't laugh at me, because I'm being serious. No, I'm not laughing, honest. I'm behind you, 100%. Oh, Billy? Yeah? Hello, Father. Oh, I hope I'm not disturbing dinner or anything, am I? Only I was just down the road. I haven't even started thinking about dinner yet. I just thought, as I was so close, mm -hmm. I'd look in and say thanks very much for the invitation. My cooking's still at the baked bean stage. So, how was Rome? Rome was... Uh... I wish I could tell you how grateful I am. You found what you were looking for? Well, not at first, no. I thought it was the worst mistake I'd made in my life. The first day was a total disaster from beginning to end. I thought, this has all been a waste of time. All that scrimping and saving. Rome? A waste? It's coming pretty close to heresy, Sheila. Yes, I know. And then I suddenly realised that I had what I was looking for. Bob. The kids. Well, I'm glad it worked out. So am I. Father, I'd really like to do something in return for the church. Ah, well, now, actually, there is something you could do for me. Might not be quite what you had in mind. Uh, hang on a sec, they're in the car. That's the last lot, isn't she? Father Gibbons. Oh, hello, Father. <laughs> Mrs. O'Halloran usually does the church washing for us. I've just been round there to drop these off. The poor woman was rushed into hospital last night, gallstones. It's very good of you, Sheila. Saved my life. Never mind, eh, Father? All in the interest of organising world peace, eh? Doesn't matter. I can go when I finish this. It does matter. It matters a lot. You can't go jumping to attention every time she snaps her fingers. Where is she now? Having a nap. Couldn't we even consider a granny flat? In this house? We could build on. Where? Where could we build? It isn't big enough. Anyway, it's out of the question. It cost a bomb. Are you sure? Perhaps Teddy would help. Teddy? <laughs> Your brother Teddy's never helped anyone else in his life but himself. Probably it's a poor old chap, what with the new Merc and the villa in Portugal and now Wazzle once and you would you could see. Well, perhaps we could convert one of the bedrooms. I was thinking of moving her into Gordon's room anyway. And where's he going to go? He could go in the small room. The whole point of giving him the bigger bedroom was so he could have somewhere comfortable to revise. Yes, I know. But Mother's not been used to a small bedroom. Oh, for goodness sake, Anna. We can't go turning the whole house upside down just to suit your mother. Look at you, you're exhausted. I'd do more to help if I could, but she seems to have got it into her head that I'm the enemy. She's still confused, that's all. Well, if that is all fine, that's fine. 
As soon as she gets better, she can go home. Oh. She'd be happier there. We can organise a home help. We can even organise a bit of private nursing if necessary. But if she isn't going to get better, then I'm not having you breaking your back 24 hours a day looking after her. She goes into a home. I can't do it. I just can't. I've got a line full of washing out there and all this lot to iron. Good for the soldier. <laughs> washing? Yeah, I suppose you're right. I was only joking. He wouldn't have done it if it was you, though, would he? How do you mean? If it was you. If you'd gone up to Father Gibbons and said, Father, after Rome, I'd really like to do something for the good of the church, for the greater happiness of mankind. He wouldn't have said, right, lad, here's the washing, would he? <laughs> It all depends how desperate he was. Not even if he was desperate, he wouldn't. It's all way. All out. Yeah, but it's all in compartments, isn't it? Important, interesting bits for you, ironing for me. Not necessarily so. You can do the important work as well. Oh, thanks, love. You check the back door? Yeah. In the window? Yeah. You shouldn't have let me fall asleep with my hair wet. I look a mess. You look smashing. I don't look smashing, I look a mess. Rod, are you coming or not? Yeah. All clear, that's it. Well, more or less. Still a lot of damage. I know. We've probably been luckier than you. The police seem to think that someone must have frightened them off. Check it's locked properly. Still, the insurance will take care of everything, won't it? It's a personal thing, though, isn't it? Like I lost all my ornaments. Oh, I know. You didn't lose nothing personal, like, did you, Annabelle? Not, you know. A rather special brooch. Oh, what a shame. It was very pretty, little seed pearls. Uh, my grandmother left it to me. Funny thing for a gang of kids to neck. Well, that's what I thought. I usually go for the money video, stuff like that. Well, there is quite a market for Victorian jewellery these days, but you wouldn't expect youngsters to know that, would you? Yeah. Probably just like the look of it. It was the only piece of jewellery I really valued, and of course it was the only piece they took. It was very close to my grandmother. Still. I don't suppose I shall see that again. It makes you sick, doesn't it? I don't know how people can do it. Mm. Well, I thought at first it might be someone with a grudge against me. You know, someone who'd come up before me on the bench. And well, I'm probably being paranoid. Come on, Doreen, get in, will you? Rod's going to be late. What? Come on. Bye-bye. I'll see you, Annabelle. What's the matter with you? It's good, that, Dad. Seven miles. Up through the quarter marathon. What sort of time? Just under the hour. Too slow. I think it's incredible. I couldn't do it. Listen, Dad. You're dripping crumbs. Listen, I don't mind about changing rooms. It's going to make things easier. I don't see why you should. Mm, but it's going to cause any problems. Oh, where's Annabelle? She's gone shopping. She won't be long. Have a cup of tea. No, thank you. Not till four. Go on, Graham. What about a piece of cake? Uh, no, I think I'll wait until Annabelle comes back. I've asked her to get me a packet of Earl Grey. It is arsenic that has a very strong almond smell, isn't it? Pardon? Mum, we're off out. Oh, yeah. Get us another packet of soap powder, will you, love? Look, just throw that lot in a polythene bag and I'll take it to the lawns, Rhett. What, let the woman do them? Well, I can do it. I could even do it myself. No, no, I've said I'll do them and I will. Well, look, mm. I'm offering because you'd have been complaining. About the principal, not about you. Go on, off you go. Bye-bye. Tatty bye, bye. bye Mummy. Bye-bye, bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Come on, babe. Hi, Mum. Oh. Ah. Oh, the shops were crowded. Is that Thank you, dear? Did you manage to get the Earl Grey? Uh, sorry? The Earl Grey? You said you'd get me a packet. Oh, I don't think I did. Oh, you've forgotten it. I'll uh, go upstairs and start moving things, OK? Mother, if you'd mentioned you wanted some, I would have got it for you. It's so little to ask. One packet of tea. Surely you don't begrudge me one packet of tea. Oh, it is begrudging you anything, Mother. If I were with Teddy, things would be very different. It would indeed. Teddy wouldn't begrudge me anything. It was just the same, even when you were children. There he was, such a sunny little boy, always telling me secrets, sharing things with me. You were quite the opposite. Sullen, grouchy little girl, always whining. Now, if I were at Teddy's house... Fine. That's fine. We'll go upstairs, pack your bag and take you over to Wallasey now. Oh, please. Your mother wants to go to Ted's. Far be it from us to stand in her way. Oh, good.
gracious. I wouldn't dream of bothering him. He's much too busy to cope with his poor old mother. That boy showed as goodness knows how many responsibilities. Annabelle has responsibilities. Well, it's not quite the same thing, is it? After all, Teddy's a qualified accountant. For heaven's sake, Mother. Annabelle's a magistrate. Then, of course, he and Rosalind have such a busy social life. I'll have my cup of tea in the living room, dear. It's no trouble. Give Gordon a hand, will you? She didn't mean it. I think she did. That's what hurts. She didn't, Anna. At the end, she'd completely forgotten what she was talking about. It doesn't make it any the less true. Wallacey Golf Course. That's about as far as golden boy Teddy ever travels on business. A couple of dodgy deals on the fairway, a bit of creative accountancy in the clubhouse over scotch, and that's another gold-plated suite in the master bathroom. God, Annabelle, you're worth 20 of your brother Ted. Not to her, obviously. Oh, right. Did you hear about the burglary? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. Terrible, wasn't it? Hey. There's timing for oh, you. <laughs> see you then, love. See ya. All right, Billy. What are you doing here? Just visiting, that's all. Just come to see how my brother is. Yeah, OK. Better come in then, hadn't you? I'm going to wet my hair and dry properly before I get the tea, all right? Oh. All right, Doreen. Are you stopping for your tea or what? No, he's not. Uh, no, I'm not. Can you take these and put the cat on for us there, love? We could get our Damon to redecorate. Well, don't change everything, she ain't Not too quickly, love. We've had enough upheaval for one day. Just the sweet, then. All right, then. Just the sweet. What colour? That is your department. No, 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 no. Both of us, joint decision. Oh, ah, yeah, like Rome. It was good, though, wasn't it? Best thing I ever done. We'd just be walking back to the hotel now. Stopping off for a little drink in that little cafe across the square. It's funny how different everything is there. The light and the colour. Mm -hmm. Thanks, love. Thanks. You've got nothing to thank me for. Mm, yeah. Look, don't take it out on me, kid. I was doing you a favour. Robin the Collins was doing us a favour, was he? Too right, it was. Listen, you could be sitting in Risley drinking your cocoa. You and me, Billy, had been suspects numbers one and two if I hadn't made it look surreal. So where is he? Might as well. The stuff you robbed off them. Oh, I, uh, I nearly forgot. There you are. What's this? It's yours. You what? Oh, for God's sake, are you thick or what? If I'd have taken that stuff back, we'd both be in Risley drinking our cocoa now. Now, go ahead, take it. I'm not touching it. Sure, cut. I don't want it. Oh, it's funny, that. I was expecting more gratitude, like, uh, oh, thanks a lot, Jimmy. That'll go to pay off all the back interest. Still, suits me. I'm not bothered. We'll call it me fee, then, shall we, eh? Uh, listen, listen, Jim, there was a brooch. Well, uh, yeah, very nice, too. You've got to get it back for us. No way. Oh, for crying out loud. No way! What's the matter with you? I've sold it, haven't I? Are you going soft or what? Yeah, maybe I am. So what? Shh. I think I'm going bloody soft, the mess I'm in. Doe's not sleeping. She's worried sex. She looks terrible. And now Annabelle Collins. That's a bloody soft and smashing up your brother's house and robbing his neighbours. Oh, calm down, will ya? All this because of one stupid flaming little brooch. Just get it right. Buy it back with that and I hope the bloody fleece ya. Oh, so what are you going to do then, eh? Push it in through the letterbox? Oh, look, love. Look what's just dropped onto the mat. One stupid flaming little brooch. I don't know what all the fuss is about. No, you wouldn't. You haven't got a clue, have you? What do you keep in there, eh, besides dirty money? Just get the brooch back, all right? OK, right. And then that's it. Finished.
You starting on that bath already? Yeah, I want to get them out the way. Look at this, it's covered in barrel. Looks like a telephone number. Must be his girlfriend. There's more than one. Look. <laughs> Busy little lad. Oh, Ray, look at that. It's all torn around the seam. We're going to have to mend that. Still, should have him finished by tea time. Look, I mean, don't go tiring yourself out. You were washing all day yesterday. And another thing, don't be too fussy. I want to do a good job. And so do I. That's why I'm off. Oh, by the way, one of our lads is retiring today. Might be a little bit of a celebration this afternoon. You're going to be late back, then? No, I shouldn't think so. And don't forget, the other fellow's coming for the suite. Oh, yeah, 10.30, he said. Ta-ra, love. Ta-ra, love. Right. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> How many times are you going to keep counting it, eh? Oh, don't spoil me fun. This has been a really good week this week. The jobs keep coming in like this, well then, we'll have to take on extra staff. Perhaps we should have signed off months ago. You'd be saying we are at Uru Old Main Collins next. No, but it's going to be the first time in months we've been able to pay the rent on time. Yeah, well, that's going to make old Crossy's day, isn't it? As well, so long as it stops him from nagging us. Yeah, well, I've had it out to here with him. I tell you what, sir, if we could find a place cheaper, we'd move out tomorrow. Yeah. But think of all the hassle we'd have moving our stuff. Well, that's no problem. I know two blokes with a van. Yeah, but the problem is, they'd want paying. And anyway, this is our business address. We're established here. I like it. Hancock and Sullivan. Established 1985. Er, uh, Sullivan and Hancock. Look, I'm serious. People know where to find us here. People like NT. Uh, I suppose we could stick it for a bit longer, can we? Look, I know Harry Cross might be a bit of an owl narc, and... Hey. There's no might about it. Well, let's face it, Pat, this is a good place, this. I might think of some of the dumps we've been to lately. Like that flat we took the cooker to yesterday. Oh. Yeah. So we stay here, right? Yeah. Might as well. <sighs> Haven't you finished yet? I'm reading. I can see that. <laughs> what is it now, then? A weekend in the Himalayas or canoeing down the Orinoco? You're not taking me seriously. Oh, <laughs> perish the thought, Harry. <laughs> I was on the telephone to the estate agent yesterday, and he reckons I'll get quite a few bob for that house of mine over there. What time are you expecting him, then? Oh, before 12. And I do mean quite a few bob. I was thinking of going on a world cruise, and I was thinking of taking you with me. All right. Think we might get the garden turned over first. Is that what all heavy breathing's about? Well, it's a lovely day. Get a fair bit done. Oh, all right. Oh, good. But you can do the digging. Ha, <laughs> ha, thanks, Harry. Well, you wouldn't want me to have a heart attack before I get my hands on the money, would you? Oh, no. And then he'd run us down to the garden centre, see what they've got. Oh, good. How do you feel about hollyhocks? Earwigs. Hey? Hollyhocks, they get full of earwigs. Well, we can always spray them. I think they'd look very nice. And how about a, a trellis with blue clematis? What do you think? Whatever you like. Of course, what I'd really like to grow is cucumbers and tomatoes. But, mind you, we'd need a greenhouse to do them justice. Well, that's all right. We've got a greenhouse, eh? Oh, yes, yeah, so we have. Just come with me. it look as though I'm doing? It looks as though you're trespassing to me. That's what it looks like. We're only clearing it out. And what are you doing with them? We're going to burn them. Well, we need them. Get oh, off! Oh. Don't we need them, Pat? Yeah. Not any longer, you don't. It's our garden. And look at the stage of it. It's more like Nowsley Safari Park. Well, we've been busy, haven't we? I bet there's animals in this garden that even David Attenborough doesn't know about. Well, that doesn't entitle you to take over the greenhouse, does it? Look, it is, and he wants it back. Well, he can't have it. This greenhouse belongs to us, right, as long as we pay the rent. Not any longer, it doesn't. I'm selling the house. You can't get rid of us. We're bona fide tenants. Yeah. Just watch me. 
And don't come in here that strong arm stuff just because we're pensioners. Yeah. Believe him, he just won't leave us alone, will he? Could you imagine what they'd be like if we kept running into their house every five minutes? You don't reckon he means it, do you? About selling the house. Oh, he meant it last time when he wanted it for Kevin. Yeah. On the other hand, though, he could just be putting the pressure on to keep us paying the rent. Yeah, well, that's the problem. I don't think they believed you. They will do before they're much older. I hope you don't cause any trouble. It's my property, isn't it? Yeah, I know, but... It's my property, and I can do what I like with it. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. Well, I'm sure. Enough for the both of us. Perhaps you should get some advice. The law's a very funny thing, you know. You're a bit funny yourself, aren't you? Are you going to burn that stuff, or are you saving it for posterity? Here. Oh. <laughs> Great, it's in here. Yeah, no problem. Oh, all things love. Got the worst of it sorted out, but it's still a bit of a mess. I know how you feel. We were burdled a few years back. It's a terrible feeling, isn't it? I've got over that now. I'm more angry than anything. I bet your Billy is, isn't he? No Bob was ready to do murder. That's what bothers me. I expect him to go out there looking for them, ready to tear them apart. Just as well he didn't. But it would have been more like him, do you know what I mean? Instead, it's just as if he wants to forget it. Well, there's no sense in looking for trouble, though. Oh, I don't mean that. He seems very affected. I've never seen him that upset, not in that way. It just shows he cares. Oh, he cares all right. It's just that nothing's going right for us at the moment. Hey, listen. If you care enough about each other, you can get through anything. That's my experience, anyway. I hope you're right, Sheila. Of course I am. You'll see. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll have to get going. Yeah, I'll pick it on as well. See you, love. Yeah, see you around. Bye-bye. Two weeks, then. Oh, stop messing about, will you, and put these on. Hang on, they're all wet and there's soil on them. They'll put the fire out. Stop nagging, will you? Oh. Yeah. Mr Cross? Yes, I'm Mr Cross. Chris Baxter from Samuels. Now, I'll show those two layabouts I really mean business. Hang on, and I'll get the key. Sell well, do they, these houses? Well, we can't guarantee anything, but... He's hoping to get a good price for that one. I'm sure he will. Even if he has still got tenants in it. Oh, I was under the impression it was for sale with vacant possession. That will make quite a difference in the asking price. Oh, aye. How much? It could be five or six thousand. That much? They're only tenants, you know. I can get them out any time. Well, if that's possible. No problem. I've already given them the notice. Come with me. Oh, hey! Oh. Well. As you can see, this is the living room. Very well maintained. And no signs of damp. Mm -hmm. What's going on? And no cracks. Good as new, these houses. As a matter of fact, they're better, because they've settled in. I said, what's going on? This is the kitchen house here. Who the hell is that, Ralph? That's Mr Baxter. Well, what's he doing here? Harry invited him. Yeah, well, I can see that. Why is he here? He's from the estate agents. What? Three bedrooms, all in good decorative order. So if you want to go up and have a look at them... Hang on, hang on, Mr C, will you? What? Why didn't you tell us? I told you this morning. I've been telling you for months, but you thought I didn't mean it. Well, now you know I do. Yeah, well, we're still the tenants, right? Even if you do sell the house. Oh, no. I'm not selling this house as an investment property. Mr Baxter told him he wouldn't get as much for it if you were still here. 
Is he with you? He's from the estate agents. He really is gonna sell the house. Dorian. Where is she? She's upstairs doing the beds. Is that my dinner you're eating? Yeah. You've got a nerve. Yeah, well, I'm starving, aren't I? You should be hanging from the banisters, the mess you made of this place. Mm, go away, will you, Billy? I had to make it look good, didn't I? Good? Look at the state of the carpet. I still can't get the paint off. Yeah, well, I'll get you a new one cheap. Oh, no, you won't. Well, how about some wallpaper, then? Just shut it, will you, eh? Aye. Wouldn't do it for anyone, you know. Yeah, well, don't do it for me. Well, have you got it? Got what? Keep your voice down, will you? The brooch, have you got it? Oh, that? Yeah. Hey, it wasn't easy, you know. Never mind all that, just give it us, will you? Oh, hello, love. I didn't hear you come in. How'd you get on? It wasn't a big job, love, uh, but they paid on the nail, yeah. Oh, that's great. 55 quid there. Well, I'll buy me a couple of scrambled eggs, then. I've left you some dinner in the oven. Should know better to leave stuff around when our Jimmy's in the neighbourhood. Have you ate it? Well, you shouldn't be such a good cook, should you, darling? Oh, hey, Jimmy, don't you think it's bad enough getting robbed without you pinching his dinner as well? Hello, Sheila. I want a word with you. Who is it? Sheila! Hello, love. You all right? No, I'm not all right. What's this? A cotter. A what? -a? a surplus. Well, here, I don't want it. I've just done all this washing, and look at it. Hasn't come up too well, has it? Did you use a biological powder? They were perfectly white when I put them out. All this is from your incinerator. And uh, who said it was our incinerator? It's the only one around. Oh. Why didn't you check there was any washing out before you lit it? Because it's Tuesday. What's that got to do with anything? Washing days on a Monday. My Edna always washed on a Monday. So did Grace. We did ours yesterday. So if you want to be different, you'll just have to take your chance. Harry, they're filthy. They're all going to have to be done again. Oh, that's rotten, huh? Anyway, I'm surprised at you. Someone like you getting upset over a little thing like this. They're not even mine. Taking in washing, are you, then? They're for the church. I'd get the marks off them in no time. Oh, would you? Thank you very much. I'll come and get them when you've succeeded. Women. Seemed a bit upset, didn't she? The slightest thing goes wrong and they go hysterical. I can get these clean in a jiffy. Here. Bung them in the washing machine. I know. We're protected by the law, I think. Maybe we should go down the Citizens Advice Bureau just to make sure. Look, as long as we pay the rent, we'll be all right. Yeah. <sighs> Funny we could find someone to share. I was thinking of asking Vicky to move in. Again? Well, why not? I mean, I was even thinking of trying to buy this place once. <gasps> you reckon you could get a mortgage? Well, if things picked up. You going out with Fran and them again tonight? Yep. Loot in the willows. Fame at last. Just remember to bring the van back before dawn. Oh, you never know. Might bump into someone tonight who wants something shifted. Yeah, I know what I'd like to shift. Hey, Harry! 
Come and have a look at this, quick. Now we're in trouble. It's blue. They all are. What's Sheila gonna say? Well, what happened? That's my good pull over that. And it's shrunk. That's your fault. I didn't know it was in there. I just set it to the hottest wash. White cottons. You know, it can't be easy being as stupid as that. Hey, we can't give them back to Sheila like this. Maybe she won't notice. Of course she'll notice. Well, I'm not gonna tell her. There must be something we can do. What about bleach? Does it take hours to soak, then? We could at least try. Besides, we haven't got any bleach. Hey, Olive. Oh, Tom. Told you I'll do them for you after. I'm all right. I feel like doing them. Do you know what I saw this morning? Two men came in a van and took the Grand Street Police Suite away. Oh, I'd be in possessed, was it? That's not funny, Billy. No, love, I'm sorry. Mind you, I'm not surprised they're getting rid of it. Hey, was that? It's not very smart. I wouldn't have it in here. You'd think they could have all better than that. They can't help having no taste, can they? Not like you, Doreen. I mean, you've got this place lovely. I've always said that, haven't I, Billy? Yeah, well, you did that. Yeah, until some hooligan took her apart. Yeah. Did you see that for sale sign outside number seven? Yeah, looks like Harry Cross means it this time, doesn't it? Don't talk of the devil. <coughs> Heard anything? Hey? From the police? Oh, the burglary? No, not yet. I'll never catch them. You reckon? Mind you, I was forgetting. What? You've got somebody in the inside. No, he hasn't. He means Rod. Oh. Not much in this, I'm afraid. Oh, that'll have to do, then. We were just saying about your house. Well, I had the estate agent in this morning. He reckons it'll be no problem at all selling it. What about Pat and Terry? Will they be staying on? Giving them notice to quit. Oh. Where are they going to live, then? That's their problem. I've got problems of my own. Yeah, it must be tough being a landlord, mustn't it? You don't know they are. Uh, I see you out. Any time you want anything else, don't hesitate. Bye-bye. Right. Now, you can shove off and all. All right, Billy, I'm only trying to help. Blood's thicker than water, you know. Yeah, and yours will be all over the carpet with the paint if I catch you round here again. Now, get moving, will you? I'm your brother, aren't I? Just go, all right? Oh, all right, all right. I'm going to get this back to Annabelle Collins. I just don't know. Yeah, well, I'm sure you'll think of something, won't you? Out. I won't forget this, Billy. Good. I could get you some paint. Get out. It was an accident. All of them. I'm sorry. Hey, Anne, I got some bleach. Oh. I might have known. I might have known better than to let two silly old... Oh, give it here. He left his pullover in the machine. Hey, don't you go blaming me. You forgot to take it out. I don't care whose fault it is. I'm never going to get them white again. What's Father Gibbons going to say? God moves in a mysterious way. What? His wonders to perform. I thought you took that very well. Yeah. Bobby, Any it's around now. Take care. Hi, hi. What's all this then? Ah, oh, with Daddy Cross, he's selling the house. Hey, he wants us out. Never. Hey, he can't do that, can he? Shouldn't think so. You're a sitting tenant, aren't you? Just sit tight. Are you sure? Daddy could take you to court, I suppose, but blimey, that'll take years. I was thinking of going over there and asking the new neighbours, that Gordon Davis, he's a lawyer. You could do, but Harry will probably offer you a few bob to get rid of you. <sighs> Doesn't sound like Harry, that. Probably work out cheaper for him in the long run. Well, we'd have to make it worth our while. Ooh. Now you're talking. <laughs> hey, thanks very much. You haven't half cheered me up. Well, if you can help somebody, me have some. I'd see ya. Oh, by the way, let us know how you go on, eh? What's all this? 
surpluses. What's wrong with them? You're washing them this morning. I know. Look at them. What happened? It was Harry or Ralph. What are you talking about, she? It's a long story, love. All I know is I'm never going to get these white, and when I've got them white, I've got to iron them all. Never mind. I'll give you the hand. I just wanted to do a bit of good for the church, and I end up doing all this skivvying. Never mind. Just remember the old saying. They also save who only wash the surpluses. Harry. Ah. You awake, Harry? Well. Tea time. I must have dozed off. I'm not surprised. First time you've sat down today. We've done quite a lot today. Yeah, we've had an eventful day, really. It's been interesting, hasn't it? Wonder what we can do tomorrow. Hey, stop messing around, dry up you. Sorry, I was thinking. Important well, case you're working on, is it? Yeah, I was up in the call later this morning. What? He's the fellow who reads all the crime reports that I sent in. Uh-huh. Looking through all these names, right? And I saw ours. Oh, burglary, did you? Yeah. So what happened? Well, nothing, yeah. I'd probably get lost along with all the other unsolved crimes. Well, I don't see why not if I get cross indexed. You have to give them a chance. They must be very busy. You see, we've got a list of all the things that were stolen, right? And when we pick up on someone for handling stolen goods... I know. You check their stuff against what we have pinched. Yeah? You'd never recognise them. I'd know my microwave anywhere. Don't be daft. I'm not statue. Be a chance in a million. That stuff will be at the other end of the country by now. Doesn't matter. We just get sent a copy of the report. You think it's that easy? Yeah, it can be. You've only been in a place five minutes and you're running the show. No, he isn't. I'm telling you, you've seen the last of them. No, not necessarily. Of course we have. Once you get something nicked, you never see it again. Don't go building your mam's hopes up. I'm only saying. Yeah, well, just shut it, will you? Hey! And stop playing Sherlock Holmes. I'm only telling you what happened at work. Well, just wait till you know a bit more about it, all right? What's all that about? I don't know, love. I don't know what's the matter with him. <laughs> 